in the small intestine region it have very minimum quantity of its secretion that means enzymes but it was uh, uh, done by a group of glands namely accessory glands what are the accessory glands liver gallbladder pan pancreas these glands secrete some juices and release their juices into the duodenum of small intestine especially in the ampulla of vata with the help of this uh, secretions only uh, digestion entered in the small intestine region first of all we will discuss about the main accessory gland pancreas pancreas is the only gland which act as a both endo and exocrine glands what is the difference between endo and exocrine gland exocrine gland means they give the uh, they secrete enzymes exo they have duct duct to release the air secretion into the particular place but the endocrine glands are the ductlet glands which is secretes a chemical substance namely hormones so hormones means endocrine gland enzyme means exocrine glands means means secretor the secretions of endo and exocrine glands endocrine glands are the ductlet glands so, so that secretion is already mixed in the blood itself there is no specific part it goes along the blood and the cells can utilize it what are the secretions of endocrine gland in the pancreas region pancreas region a place is there islets of langergan this islets of langergan act as the endocrine part it ha have three cells one is the alpha cells next beta cells and the delta cells alpha cell secrete the main hormone glucagon next one beta cells beta cell secrete insulin uh, glucagon and insulin have antagonistic function delta cell secrete somatostatin okay these are the secretions of endocrine glands now we will discuss about the exocrine part exocrine gland exocrine glands secrete enzymes some enzymes are secreted here they are collectively called as pancreatic juice they helps in the breakdown of protein fat and the carbohydrate also so all the food molecules are break down and made into smaller ones by the help of pancreatic juice these exocrine uh, are exocrine part are pancreatic juice was secreted by acinar cells or acinase cells uh, we'll discuss one by one about this enzyme so first enzyme is the trypsinogen gen means it is in an inactive form so trypsinogen is an inactive enzyme secreted in the acinar cells in pancreas it's also found in the pancreatic juice enterokinase is an hormone found in the duodenum region region that acts on the trypsinogen and convert it into trypsin that means an active form it is converted from an inactive form into active form inactive one is the trypsinogen active is the trypsin that was uh, helped by enterokinase this enterokinase uh, is a very uh, it's a peptidic uh, hormone okay secreted in the duodenum itself next this trypsinogen mainly acts on the proteins and convert it into dipeptides and polypeptides already in stomach itself pepsin acts on the proteins and convert it into uh, proteins and polypeptides so this trypsinogen or trypsin acts on this polypeptides next it have another hormone chymotrypsinogen we will discuss about the all other enzymes in the next slide next one is the chymotrypsinogen it's also a proteolytic enzyme what means proteolytic lytic means breakdown which break downs the protein is called as proteolytic it's a proteolytic enzyme it was activated by trypsin already trypsin also is an inactive form that is trypsinogen enterokinase activate it into trypsin if suppose trypsin is formed the trypsin have the ability to self initiation it can initiate or it can activate the other trypsinogen molecules into trypsin so this trypsin now act on the chymotrypsinogen and make it to an inactive form that is chymotrypsin this chymotrypsin converts the uh, peptides into amino acids and di and monopeptides next one is the carboxy peptidase carboxy peptidase peptidase means peptidase pep this as is the ending of enzymes so peptides acts on the peptides it converts the peptides dipeptides and monopeptide into amino acids so totally it have mainly mainly it have three proteolytic enzymes namely trypsinogen chymotrypsinogen and carboxy peptides next in pancreatic juice only have this lipase which specifically acts on the fatty acid fat molecules or lipid molecules 
in other term it is called as strepsin strepsin is the name for lipase okay the food which chyma, food or chi molecule now it is called as chi molecule which enters from the stomach into small intestine it's acidic in nature it should be neutralized that was done by the pile juice which was secreted by liver then that helps in the emulsification of fat that emulsified fat is now converted into monoglycerides and fatty acids monoglycerides is, is converted into fatty acids and glycerol fatty acids are the final products the final products means what is the difference here itself means they can't able to go for further breakdown that is no more hydrolytic process they can be utilized they can be oxidized but they can't able to be hydrolyzed that is a final product like glucose amino acid fatty acids here lipase acts on the fat molecules and triglycerides usually triglyceride and converts it into monoglycerides and fatty acids and glycerol glycerol is a by product okay next enzyme is a nuclease all the cells have nucleus to break down this nucleus it have a specialized enzyme nucleus nucleus acts upon nucleus acts upon the nucleus and converts into nucleotides nucleotides means some examples is a codon uh, we already know about codon one example of codon a u g it have three nucleotides these are the nucleotides it break down the nucleus into nucleotides and again an enzyme nucleotidase fraction of nuclease this nucleotidase converts this nucleotides into nucleosides again an another enzyme nucleosidase this nucleosidase break down the nucleoside into nucleic acid and sugar what are the sugars present in the nucleus uh, if it may be a dna it have deoxy ribose sugar it is a monosaccharide if it may be a rna it have the ribose sugar it also a monosaccharide and two special enzymes found in the nucleus are the dnas and rnas specifically to break down the dna and rna into nucleic acid and its sugar dna means deoxy ribonucleotide so this deoxy ribonucleotides are break down by the help of dnas two nucleotides are nucleic acid nucle what are the nucleic acids adenine guanine thymine and cytosine this nucleic acid plus sugar deoxy ribose sugar rna ribonucleotides these ribonucleotides are break down by the help of rnas these rnas convert this ribonucleotides into nucleic acid here uh, for uh, for thymine it have an additional one that is uracil these are the nucleic acid found here plus it makes an sugar ribo sugar in the next slide we will discuss about the next uh, enzyme actions so all the pan uh, pancreatic enzymes are found in the pancreatic juice and it was uh, coll uh, collected through a duct and opened into the small intestine next accessory main gland is the liver liver is the largest gland found in the human beings it secrete nearby 800 to 1.5 1.2 liter of pile juice per day pile pile means it's a it have bitter taste it have some pigments what is the important of pile juice there is no enzyme in the pile juice we know enzymes helping in the process of digestion without enzyme how can it help pile is an alkaline material so it helps in the emulsification of fat and neutralization of food materials because already in the stomach region chi molecules are formed these chi molecules are in the acid nature they have, they are in the acidic medium so they resembles that acidity to neutralize that that this bile is used what is the ph of pile juice ph is nearby 8 to 8.6 it have 97.6 percentage of water only 2.4 percentage of solids and this pile is stored in the gall bladder there is no secretion in the gall bladder what are the components found in the pile juice cholesterol pile pigments and pile salts uh, what are the pile pigments pyluvin and pyluvidin where they are found pyluvin and pyluvidin are found at the time of breakdown of hemoglobin molecule and pile salts sodium charocolates glycocolates potas potassium glycocolates and charocolates these are the pile salts uh, present in the pile juice some other minor components also seen there okay we know this is the largest gland and main factory of our human body 
what are the basic cells of this liver liver is made up of a special cell that is hepatocytes we call the liver in another term as hepatic all the hepatic duct hepatitis that means hepato defines the liver hepatocytes are the liver cells the main function of liver is not only the secretion of pile it has some other functions mainly it helps in the storage it stores the glucose molecules as in the form of glycogen and it stores vitamin b12 iron folic acid some other components also it produces it's a production factory also it produces some coagulation factors coagulation factor means which helps in the coagulation of blood it's it secretes the it produce the coagulation factor 1 2 5 8 7 9 uh, and some other factors also and it produce partially the red blood cells red blood cells production happens here in infants only may, uh, totally it occurs in the bone marrow but in the adults liver also helps in the production here and ornithine cycle takes place here ornithine cycle means what conversion the conversion of ammonia into urea uh, how the ammonia is produced at the time of utilization of amino acids amino acids at the time of uh, deamination it gives out the ammonia that ammonia is a toxic substance that toxicity is reduced by converting it into urea that is ornithine cycle and this liver act as the synthesis part of cholesterol and lipid metabolism metabolism means uh, it's uh, converting into it another product uh, which is useful for our body function uh, lipid metabolism happens here cholesterol synthesized here and it have a special cells kupfer cells kupfer cells are the macrophages which engulf the waste materials or the uh, anti uh, uh, invading organisms like uh, bacteria fungus and some other organisms are engulfed by this macrophages this macrophages are secreted by the kupfer cells and hemoglobin uh, di- digestion of the hemoglobin happens here not a, not it's called as digestion breakdown of hemoglobin this hemoglobin produces the pile pigments we already know spleen is the graveyard of red blood cells after 120 days every red blood cells go for uh, destruction or uh, this destruction mainly happens in the sp- spleen and in the liver itself so at the time of destruction of red blood cells all the red blood cells have hemoglobin this hemoglobin is break down and gives pyluvine and pyluvidine this pyluvine and pyluvidine gives colors to the fecal matter and the pile juice the pile juice is greenish yellow in color that's because of the because presence of pyluvine and this pigments only uh, gives colors to urine also urophilinogen and to and it's a sterophilinogen these are the pile pigments it never be stored in the liver it should be sent out that's why it's a cre- it's mixed in the pile juice and sends out into the digestive pathway so now it enters into the small intestine okay we will discuss about, uh, we will see in about the gall bladder in the coming slide